Hello everyone. So today I will walk you through this weekend's price action on Bitcoin. I want to show you how I use ICT concepts to uh, read the price action and frame uh, potential areas of interest and, and obviously trade them. Okay, so I'm not going to go through what happened during the week because I did cover that in my last video. But what I want to do is going into Saturday here. Now, when, it, when you go into the weekend, you don't have your intermarket pairs to give you a heads up on where price might be heading to because they're not trading on the weekend. So this is a time where I like to use the ICT concepts to their fullest advantage. It's when they come in to play the most. So I'll show you what I mean. The first thing I'll, I'll point your attention to is this over here. This is an order block on the four hour. So the way that what we identify an order block is we look for the um, the last down, uh, down close candle before a distribution in price that re that creates an imbalance. So we use the top of the order block as a target if price does retrace. Now this is not um, like a support resistance flip because we do allow price to enter into the order block up to 50%. Okay, so this is important. You must remember that um, it doesn't just have to hit the top, it can make its way into that order block and pierce down into it. Okay, so we mark out the order block on the four hour. So this will be again for me uh, going into the weekend. This was the most important level that I was looking at. Now I did have another level, uh, which is going to be, which is going to be this one here. So below this is going to be your um, low resistance liquidity. So this is, and this will be internal liquidity, right? So internal range liquidity, because we are in a range at the moment. So if price does come back down here or does go further into the range, I suspect we can go as low as this and below here. Now on my group, I asked them if they could find the four hour order block that, um, so I said I only have one level marked on my Bitcoin chart this weekend. That was a four hour order block located uh, on the four hour and I asked them if they can identify it. And in this video, I'll show them where it is if they can't pick it up. So for me on the high time frame, going into the weekend, this order block, the bullish order block, was my most important target. All right, so I'll go, into, I'll go down into a lower time frame and we can have a look what was happening there. Okay, so from the four hour, we're going to go down into the 15 minute. So the first thing I'll, I'll put your attention to here is this high, All right? That's going to be important. So what we can do is we can extend a horizontal line at this high. So if you also notice, uh, this is a part of a, a fake rally or a Judas swing after midnight, which, which creates the high, but it also balances this fair value gap. Okay, so we draw this line out in time and we notice price retrace into that bullish order block. It makes its way to about 50%. Right at this point, we get a fair value gap on the 15 minutes and price retraces into the fair value gap. This will signal and give you an opportunity to go long as you rebalance that distribution in price. Okay, and the next thing we notice is price rallies and balances another fair value gap and retraces into the dealing range. Let me put that on a dealing range. There we go. And we know when price retraces below the 50% of the, uh, the dealing range, we go into a discount market. Now at the time when price was heading down into the discount market, I was monitoring real-time data of um, my Atos software, which is free for uh, crypto. So I'll show you what I mean. So at the time price was coming in here, I noted this area looked important to me. 
and on the Atta software, I suspected what I thought was happening is that prices were getting liquidated, okay, which was pushing the CV down and a CVD down, creating a divergence between the price and the CVD. Now this is a type uh, a type B divergence, uh, but I'll cover that in my module. I cover the different type of divergences. Um, these are ones that I have developed and they're unique to my style of trading. So I notice a type B CVD divergence. And just as price is coming out the level, I see open interest is increasing on positive delta. Uh, then I suspect that this price is being protected. Okay. So we create the uh, type B CVD divergence just as we come into the uh, discount of this uh, dealing range. So this is how I use ICD concepts uh, with my own uh, trading strategy uh, to be very effective. Perfect. So moving on from there, we rebalance the dealing range and we get a distribution in price upwards as the market reprices for higher targets. Okay, in doing so, what happens? We create another area of distribution and another area of imbalance. So we'll just note this as an area of imbalance, but what I want to point your attention to is this pattern forming over here. So if you follow ICT's work, you'll know what this is. This is a breaker block. All right. So this is a breaker block. And I'll show you here on my Twitter. I created this fractal of the break, breaker block with the explanation. So you can pause and read that, why it works and how we trade it. So let's go back over to Bitcoin. So the next thing we notice is the creation of these relative equal highs. Relative equal highs. So price retests the breaker block again, making its way to about 50% uh, within the breaker block and get it rally back up. So what happens here is price is, is targeting external range liquidity marked by relative equal highs. So at this location, we pierce buy side liquidity, right? And we run, and we, uh, run into liquidations. And I'll show you what I mean. Have a look, this is that same area, the buy side liquidity, right? Here's the breaker block. So I point it out here and I have, and I check what is actually happening. So I can see mass liquidations. Okay, look how the open interest flat lines. This creates uh, another hidden uh, a, a bearish CVD divergence, okay? As positions or exiting, short positions or exiting, right? So they are forced to buy back which creates positive CVD. Okay, but price is actually doing the opposite. It gets rejected from the area because there's actually no real interest in buying there at the moment. So price is quickly rejected. So we can tell this is another type B divergence at that, at that high. Okay, so after balancing the breaker block, trading into the breaker block, price moves for external range liquidity at this point and it tags that buy side liquidity gets rejected. In doing so, it creates another dealing range, okay? So we wait for price to uh, move back into the discount, supported by the VWAP. Uh, so once again, I marked it out here, dealing range, rebalancing of the dealing range into a discount market. And what we see here is we see aggressive shorts opening into the lows, right? Creating a type A CVD divergence as they've been absorbed. So this price has been, this area or uh, is being protected, right? So when we see a type A, divergence, we expect open interest to increase as the delta is going negative, right? This tell us that shorts are trying to push price down, but they're failing. This creates a divergence and we can use it as a, a, as a entry trigger to go long. So we can go back over to Bitcoin. So at this point, we can mark this area as well. So this was the area of interest. So then the afternoon progresses going into the evening and price consolidates. Now, if you go back to, I think it was episode six, I told you of something, a specific phenomenon that happens on Sunday. You go back to episode six and watch it. 
but I was telling my group to watch for the same thing. And essentially what happens is on a Sunday you run you run four areas of liquidity, right? And there's normally quite a big candle ranges during the later afternoon session, and that's exactly what we see. So I'll tell you, I'll just show you the end result of what um, happened here on Telegram. So this is what the end result is and how I proceeded with the weekend. So none of this was hindsight or contrived. Um, you can see my entries right there, okay? And some that you can't see because I did on another platform. So just going back and looking at all this price action in its entirety, I'll quickly summarize what's happening. So you create a Judas swing after midnight, you mark this high, right, as external range liquidity, right, and above there is buy side liquidity, right, so price rechases into the order block on the four hour at this location. We get a retest of the order block and we create a fair value gap. You can enter long in this position. Okay, then price moves its way back into this dealing range because now you have another dealing range just to about 50% following another fair value gap which time is retraces now into this dealing range moves into a discount market below 50 percent which time we see that um, uh, type b cvd divergence which gives us another entry signal so we can go along here and price moves reprices above this a buy side liquidity retraces back into down into the discount now of this dealing range from this low to uh, this high into a discount market and in doing so creates that breaker block which is traded into okay then price targets relative equal highs and we see at this point again type bc uh, type bcvd divergence as prices are liquidated in real time then price moves down into the view app and into the discount of the dealing range we see a type a uh, cvd divergence okay as um, aggressive shorts get um, or ineffective at moving price okay and eventually it consolidates and then does the sunday run towards external range liquidity at which point um, a whole bunch of people get liquidated okay and you guess what price just dumps again okay targeting these lows before making its way a bit lower okay so i hope this puts um ict concepts into perspective a bit more for people and they can see, and you can see how they work in real time and how we use them and incorporate them into our trading. So I use ICT concepts with my own strategies and my own technical analysis to create a unique strategy. If you guys are interested in learning more, head over to Telegram, follow me on Twitter. Other than that, I hope everyone had a great weekend and I will see you next time.